Uh, UC Davis Picnic Day 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We are the Physics Club, and we would like to uh, welcome you to the something anniversary of the UC Davis Physics Club show. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. All right, we are going to do several experiments for you today. Some of them dangerous, some of them not, but trust me, you are fine as long as you stay behind the tape. I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, without further ado, we can just get into our first experiment. What do you think? Yeah. Of being an ice skater. Oh, come on, fellas. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, I saw that. Come here. Let's come over. Let's give him a round of applause. Mike? Yeah, give us a round. You don't need where you're going. All right, so, would you please have a seat? I'm going to give you a short listen in angular momentum. You know what that is? No. Good, neither do I. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. You seem like uh, those aren't too heavy for you, are they? No. Oh, that's right. Fairly. Okay. <laughs> now, the thing about angular momentum is it is a conservative force. 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 Conservative law. Quantity. Quantity, whatever. <laughs> you and your jargon. <laughs> So, if I start to spin you, and you change where your weight is distributed, mm -hmm. you're going to have to change something else to keep the angular momentum the same, because it is conserved. Do you know what that? My speed. Your speed. Very good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> good. So if you please hold your arms out. You ready? Round and round we go. All right. So, if you would please pull your arms in, like you're in the Olympics. Whoa. Yes, gold medal. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and he nails it. Give a round of applause. Very, very good. Give it a little back. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Go sit down. Give it. There we go. Yeah. 
facts of death. <laughs> now this is enough demonstration in conservative quantities. Who else? So, as you can tell, this is just gonna swing. Okay? This is gonna swing through this time because I, I meant to do that. <laughs> right, as you can see, it's swinging through. Uh, this is a demonstration in conservation of energy. Uh, it's going from a high potential energy here, goes straight through the kinetic energy, or moving energy, and goes up again, and that quantity is going to be conserved. It eventually slows down because there's friction and stuff, but that's fine. Now, if you believe me, you will see that it is indeed conserved. Now, I'm going to let go of this bowling ball that's right in front of my face, <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Sounds <laughs> good? All right, so what we have here is a bank of capacitors, and capacitors are kind of like batteries. They hold charge, and instead of letting the current go slowly, they let it all out at one time. And what we're going to do is show how the charge is stored. So what I'm doing now is I'm charging up the capacitor using the electricity from the wall, and it takes about 30 seconds or so. So I remove it from the wall and I'm going to turn on this light bulb fan. You can see the light bulb turns on, it's draining the capacitors of the charge. Now, that was the capacitors being used to light the light bulb. What happens if we send all the charge in this capacitor bank through this tiny little filament of wire exposed to the air? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to charge it up again. some charge in the capacitor bank. It didn't take that much charge to destroy that wire. So if I turn this on, the light bulb still glows. And there's leftover charge being dissipated. Conservation of charge, guys. All right. 